Coming to you live from parts unknown. Here are two guys hanging out, chatting about life, crime, and passing time. One loves to wear his sunglasses inside. He's a connoisseur of tasteless thoughts and an avid fan of Dawson's Creek. Who isn't? And the other is a man who's always willing to one-up your story. He loves his lawn a little too much and has a closet full of white New Balance sneakers. Who doesn't? Here are Captain and Morgan. Three, two, one. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. A nod to the Bill O'Reilly, right? That's Bill O'Reilly, right? A little nod to Oh the, yeah. To old Bill O'Reilly. I don't think he was the pill popper. That's the that's the right. other Are you sure? Fat right winger. Ah Oh again. Rush. Uh, old Rush Limbaugh popping the pills. But <laughs> It was Bill O'Reilly that went nuts and said, We'll do it live! We'll do it live! We'll just do it live! Fuck it, we'll do it live! This is our nice things around here. <laughs> our technical difficulties. Oh. <sighs> Sipping on, slipping on a Slurpee. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy. What a week of... Been six since Tuesday. Finally oh, really? feeling better. Just yeah. a cold or what? Stomach flu. Oh, the worst. Oh, and like you pick this, pick up the stomach flu from around a bunch of people that were like, "Oh yeah, my kids were sick. They had some stomach oh. issues. Maybe that's where you got it from." Or they would say, yeah. "Yeah, my kids had some stomach issues," and I go, "Oh, maybe that's where I got it from." But I wasn't sick when I came over. Oh, no shit. Maybe you brought the sickness with you. You moron. Hey, uh, so Captain, guess what? Chicken butt. That's right. We got our first ever listener supporter. I I thought I'd take a moment to to thank them. It's uh, mm-hmm. our good friend Caitlin from from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Oh, Caitlin, thank you so much. Yeah, Caitlin, thank you so much for. Becoming our first listener supporter, uh, we truly appreciate it. And if you want to be one of our listener supporters, you can do so by visiting our Anchor website. That's Anchor.fm backslash Captain and Morgan. That's Captain A and D Morgan. And now that we got that out of the way, what else has been going on with you, Captain? Uh, the amount of crazy messages I get. That blow my freaking mind on a weekly basis. It happens over and over and over and over again. Yeah. I know that some of these services, these social media services, it will show you that somebody saw your message. Yeah. I have had several people that message me. I never saw the message, never replied they message again. Never see that message. Never replied. They message again. Never see that message. Never replied. They message again. At this point, they're having a conversation with themselves. Yeah. And they're like answering themselves and questioning themselves. And then at some point, they're like, fine, be that way. Or something to that effect. And I'm like, and I read these and I, I try to reply to everybody. In a timely manner. Yes. But not every day. I can't do that. There's too many people. So (laughs) you feel like an asshole. But at the same time, you see like 10 messages where they were talking to themselves. And should you feel bad about that? Yeah. You're saying yes, you should feel bad about that? Well, I don't. No, I don't know. I don't. I'm not, I, I, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm saying, I'm saying they messaged me. I never checked their message. Not because yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't have time. They messaged again. Again, it's not that I didn't want to check it. So when I'm checking their message for the first time, there's eight mes- messages. Yeah. 
and it, they're talking to themselves basically, and then they're getting pissed off <laughs> and thinking that I'm like too cool for school, or that I'm an asshole in some no. in some way. And in no way, shape, or form is that me being an asshole in any way. Yeah, that's you carrying on a conversation with yourself, and you shouldn't do that because true. Because there's some social norms. It's just like a text message. A text message is equal to a fucking letter that you sent in the mail. That's what it equals to. It equals to you call somebody on the phone and it goes, leave your message after the beep. Beep. How you doing today? Right? That's what they leave you. How you doing today? (laughs) Right? Yeah, fine. <laughs> that's their that's their 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 voice message, right? That's yeah. fine. You leave the voice message when said person checks a message, uh you have one message. Boop. How you doing today? Right? Yeah. Oh. Who should I say that's calling me? How you doing today? Uh f- f- Frankie, frankly Frankie no lips. <laughs> Well, who's our new sponsor? Or our our uh, our new listener sponsor, Caitlin. 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 So Caitlin calls me. Beep. How you doing today? How you doing, Captain? How you doing? Captain wakes up. You have one message. Check the message. Boop. Beep. Boop. 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 Because I got to put in my code, right? Yeah. Boop, yeah. Boop. 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 <laughs> one message from Caitlin. How you doing today? Right? And how do you then how go, do you respond to Caitlin? I then I go, hey, I'm gonna call Caitlin back. Yeah. Right. Okay. Same thing. Now let's go, let's go pick a social media. Facebook, you get a Facebook message. Caitlin says, Captain, how you doing today? <laughs> I log on Facebook. I see Caitlin message me. Captain, yeah. how you doing today? Caitlin, I'm doing great. Hope you're doing great too. Boop. Sent. Right? Yep. That's how it works. Instagram, direct message. Caitlin, Captain, how you doing today? Uh, how you doing today? Jump on Instagram, go through the, the typical booby pics, the shower pics, the I don't know why she's sending me that picture in that outfit pic. Message from sweet Caitlin. Captain, how you doing today? I'm doing okay. Thanks. Then I reply, Captain. Captain. Beep, boop, 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 boop. This is me texting. Caitlin, I'm doing great. How are you doing? See, that's normal, right? Yeah. It's not normal as Caitlin goes, Captain, how are you doing today? Then she comes back later and realizes the captain has not seen her message. And he hasn't replied. Uh oh. But he hasn't seen her message. Now, maybe she can tell if I've been online or not, but I don't check, check my messages every day. Okay. To, let, let's be quite mm-hmm. honest. You're you're the captain, so you're probably getting a lot of messages. You're not Morgan, who might get a message a day, you know? Yeah, and, and a lot of random messages and a lot of podcasters that reach out to each other and might ask questions about certain things. So I'll jump yeah. into the DMs because... You know, it's part of the business. People going, "Hey, are you? Do you want to go to this convention? Do you want to speak at this event?" Or it might be a message from you. Can you record on this day? It could be somebody reaching out and going, "Hey, I really like your music. I'd like to hire you." So I will go into the direct messages and just look. But if it's not something uh, pressing business wise, mm-hmm. or it's not a personal you know, friend that I, I hang out with saying, Hey, do you want to get lunch this week? I will kind of see, okay. And I don't let them get too backed up, but I could normally go, Oh, okay. There's 15 messages a day. I can't really get to those. Let me post the stuff on social media, reply to a couple comments, blah, blah. Maybe I reply to a couple of them. Who knows? Right. Yeah. And then, then you go about your day. And then maybe the next day you see, oh, now there's 30 of them. So now they're getting backed up. You need to start replying at some point. Now, mind you, that's happening at the same time that the store 
for True Crime Garage is getting emails. I reply to those and have to act accordingly as far as shipping stuff out. And then I have my captain email, which gets maybe a hundred a day. And that's from different sponsorships. That's from people requesting cases. That's from um, publishers saying, hey, there's this new book out. And some of this stuff is not crime related at all. So maybe half of it I can go through really quickly and go, no, 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 no. Cooking book. No, we're probably not going to have you on the True Crime Garage. A guy invented a new squeegee. Nope, not going to be on True Crime Garage. I can delete those things pretty quickly. But when you're getting a hundred of those, plus Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, on top of that, now all the social media for True Crime Garage. And True Crime Garage Instagram will get a hundred. You know, it's ridiculous. And then, like, then I, we get shouted at. This lady, she donated to the beer fund, and she wanted a birthday shout-out, which we don't do. And she went nuts on us, saying how, like, how rude we are that we didn't reply to her direct message and we didn't reply to her email. And it's like, we're getting a lot of these. And we don't have, like, some girl working in an office, you know, some guy working in an office yeah, replying to these. So basically, what you're saying is a double-edged sword, right? It's it's a necessity. You need to have the social media media presence, but at the same time, it's kind of a I don't want to call it a hindrance, but it's um. Oh, we replied to thousands, and we have from the beginning, and probably the first three years, there's not somebody that wrote to us that didn't get a reply. Yeah, and that was our thing. But as it gets bigger and bigger, at some point, you got to go. I can't reply. I want to. I'd love to just wake up every day and like call everybody and thank them for listening to the show. I mean, in all honesty, I mean, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to shake everybody's hand and give them a hug and say, thank you for listening to. But then that becomes your full-time job. Right. Then you, and then you can't create a show. Right. So yeah, I either spend the six hours doing research for the show today. And that's not, that's not, the only research that's just for today and that yep. is just that is just uh i did a bunch of research this week and it, that that six hours that i went back over the stuff was just to make sure some of my thoughts were in line because i have some weird thoughts on this case and i don't i didn't want to be rambling as much yeah and let's be honest yeah you can go and hire a assistant or whatever to answer your messages right Right, but then it's bullshit anyways, right? Yeah, it is. Absolutely is. So it's like either you do what you can and you respond to as much as you can, but not make it uh, such a burden that it's taken away from everything else that you're, you know, you have to do your other responsibilities. Yeah. Or, you know, it's, and I think pe- people, what I'm ha- saying, that, what I'm saying though is if a guy messaged a girl and yes. said, hey, how you doing? So, Caitlin, hey, they, how are you doing? And they didn't reply. And then the guy said, hey, I really like the way you look in that picture. Yeah. And the girl didn't reply, and the guy messaged another six times. Most girls would say that guy was being creepy. It, re- it works the reversed way. Yeah. And it should. And it's, you know. So, that's my rant. <laughs> People are like, he's such a dick. <laughs> Ah, the captain, he's really turned over a new leaf. He's such a dick. Such a dick. No, I think How I you think do? you have a point. I think you have a point though. It's like if someone if someone if someone messages messages you and says just says, mm-hmm. Hey, how's it going? No, do uh, it better than that. How you doing? How you doing, Captain? Oh, you really get into oh, How you doing? Oh yeah. I can't do it. I want to do Macho Man so bad. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing, Miss Elizabeth? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Macho Man hits you up in DMs. Miss Elizabeth, <laughs> looking good in those sequins. I can't do it, man. No, what, how? How you doing? How do you? How do you respond to that? 
No, and I, look, like I said, if you have the time, you reply to the person, fine, no big deal. But if you're carrying on a conversation with yourself, you're probably a little crazy. A little cuckoo. Yeah. And I'm not, look, and that's not to say that you don't say, hey, how you doing? A couple of days later, there's no reply, and you go, yeah. hey, listen to your latest show. That's pretty awesome. That's okay. okay. Now, what that's not, if? That's not, that's not talking to yourself. That is, you sent two messages. So what you're saying is that they shouldn't actually have a fake conversation with you through DM. So it shouldn't start, how you doing? And then you don't respond, and then they reply back. You know what? I'm doing great, too. Thanks. No, no. They they come back like, oh, thanks for asking. I'm doing great, too. Yeah. But, yeah, but they do it, like, so snarky. Like, and you just want to go, but I didn't even see the message. I didn't see the message. You know what I mean? But you should have, Captain. But But they also know that I didn't see the message. It would have said, seen, unless there's some glitch on... Facebook or whatever, like, cause like Twitter, for example, like I'm said I was messaging Renner and, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is the message I sent to him. Don't share with anyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cause he, cause he likes, he likes really like, uh, he just likes juicy stuff. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like he likes gossip. Yeah. So I said, don't share with anyone. And he, he wrote back question mark. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's yeah, how you I get in. So instead of saying, hey, how's it going? You start out, don't, <laughs> don't, don't share this with, with anyone. And then you're like, oh, my God, what is it? It's just uh, artwork for this series that we're working oh. on. Uh, but I don't want him to share the artwork because we don't know if that's the final yeah, I'll, I'll I'll share it with you. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is a world premiere to me. This is great. Yeah, great that's that's not right what here. I wanted to start. I I don't want to start off the show that way, but I think it's the fact that like we're having a tough technical difficulty because we're trying to get it so people can hear it live. Which yeah, yeah. I understand. That's our thing. That's what we want to do. But the times that we can't make it happen. We just got to make the show happen, so we're not sitting here for another two hours. Yeah, it's, it's you know, late. It's, we're tired. We wanna, don't want to be up here until 1 a.m. Yeah, I mean, we could... Uh, I wanted to start off with... <laughs> here's, here's my notes. It says, <laughs> what's this... Uh, what, what cologne... <laughs> what cologne did you used to wear in middle school? I never wore cologne. Ever. You never wore cologne. No. And... Well, and what about high well, school? Well, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, this I doesn't may... make any sense. Okay. Keep going. I never... Start okay. Again. So I never had my own cologne, but I never really wore cologne, but I'm pretty sure, like in middle school, because I would have used whatever my dad had if I did, and I'm pretty sure, like, the only thing he would have had would have been, like, a bottle of Stetson from, like, 1970. Mm-hmm. I remember... I remember so, he like, had he one bottle... No, he didn't wear it, but I remember he had a bottle of cologne... It's probably Stetson. It didn't even have like the spray top. So you just had to kind of like push the button <laughs> a little bit to get a little bit on. And like, but I probably put like weight. Yeah. But no, I did it on the finger. Yeah. Just dabbed on the finger. But, you know, I had friends that wore cologne and, you know, they would have their, what, what was, what was popular? Cool water probably was cool the, water. Yeah. Was probably the most popular back then. Maybe I'm opening a beer. Hold on. Let's see if we can hear this. Oh, 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 there we go. That sounded good. Here, hold on. I'm opening this water. <sighs> what do you? What do you? What kind of beer do you got? I have these Guinnesses. I need to finish. Oh, nice. What was your cologne of choice? Deca- was uh, it Dakar? Dakar. How you doing? Um, no. In middle school, we'd get these. Like it was probably for Christmas. They would have like brute cologne packages i thought you were gonna say for christmas they would send magazines with samples in it you know the samples no, that no. you were like open no. it up you open up the like the one little on the end of the 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 ad you had that little sample that you could like rub on your neck i think it was like something that like maybe my parents like told my grandparents like this might be a cool gift and it was like deodorant oh like, yeah comb uh 
like maybe some soap that smelled a little. So basically, like they're saying, "Hey, Captain, you guys stink." Captain kind of stinks a little. So can you hook him up with this? So you go yeah, out. It's weird because it so they like go to a, they go to Macy's and they pick up the uh, the brute no, Christmas no, pack. This was like no, this is like you go to Kroger or something. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know if it was like that nice. I mean, you can find them today. Like, you'll you can find them like in Meyer. Oh and no! I know, like, I'm I know, pretty. Like things are a little different. Like back in the day. Like here's the thing. Anybody that's young listening is like hey, Meyer. You can get a bunch of stuff, right? Like back in the day. No, no. If if your parents bought your clothes at Meyer back in the day, it was like the world's worst thing. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Like I, I remember my friend buying like some clothes like summer clothes from walmart yeah and and he just like kept complaining like that he could notice i mean we're like in sixth seventh grade and he's like i got these summer clothes from walmart and they hurt they hurt to wear <laughs> <laughs> and i remember like really you know because you know family of four we're, we're not even getting summer clothes yeah what are it summer basically clothes like <laughs> It's, it was like he got a couple of outfits for the summer, so he, yeah, uh, so he could wear those. And then like once school came around, he got this new school clothes. And like I got new school clothes when my parents were together, but once I got divorced, there was no school shopping. It just mm-hmm. didn't happen. It was no, nobody's going. Oh, hey, no. we're going to go get you school shoes today. See, I was from, like, from a family of five, off. you know. So uh, yeah, same yeah, thing. Your school right? shoes were like, hey, what what did your brother wear two years ago? <laughs> You can wear those. They're still in good shape. Here you go. Yeah, summer clothes were two holes in them. Summer clothes were like, oh, those jeans that you had all school year that have the holes in knees. Okay, we're gonna just cut those off in their shorts now. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, we also cut your shirt into a crop top. <laughs> crop I hope you like. Top. I hope. I hope you like that one. <laughs> why the local girls are beating you up? Mom, it's a button up shirt. Why is it a crop top now? I got in a fight with a girl one time on a playground. I swear she was like 300 pounds. <laughs> and, but it was the thing, like, she kept punching me yeah. hard, and I couldn't do anything because I kept on thinking, you can't punch a girl. Mm-hmm. There's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't think I should have hit her. She was at least five years older than me. Oh, Jesus. She yeah. was at least 100 pounds heavier than me. Yeah. I didn't start the fight. I was protecting my little brother and my little nephew, and she was punching me in the face. I think that is grounds to stand stand up for yourself. Yeah. But I was so intent on you're not allowed to hit a girl that I just like took the hits so they could mm-hmm. like walk away. Yeah. And then like then I walked away. And then I think both of them were like they felt awful because they're like, he just got his ass beat by a girl. <laughs> Okay, back to clone. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then they had these packages of, like, Old Spice. And, and, yeah, yeah. And like I said, they still have them today. Like, you can buy them for... And normally around Christmas time, this is, like, when it's a big thing. Like, they get get these gifts. And I think we got Brute for a couple of years. And I think one year I was like, I want Old Spice. And that and the Old, <laughs> old, old spice. spice containers was, like, that creamy white color with, like, the little ship on it. And it didn't have a spray either. You... You would put your finger on top and shake it, and then it go on your finger and you dab it on your neck, and it didn't smell good at all. <laughs> and in high school, so you didn't wear a cologne at all in high school. No, I did not. So i i didn't I didn't wear cologne till maybe senior year. Yeah, maybe. But the thing was that you had to find like your smell and this is what i think guys don't understand you have to find your smell what are you doing they say i'm finding my smell <laughs> somebody's listening going you gotta find your smell what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> no here's what i mean by that if you yeah. go and there's like david beckham clone adidas cologne there's uh you know all different kinds of clothes. Old Spice, right? Yeah. That you have a natural smell that probably lines up with one of those smells is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 
And so I think sometimes there's this perf- uh, perfume cologne called like pie or something like that. Pie, pie. You know, like the yeah. pie symbol. And I've had plenty of women tell me, oh, I, I, I used to work at a gas station or I used to wait tables. And there was this older gentleman that would come in and he smelled so good. And I would ask him, what are you wearing? They'd say pie, right? Or whatever it is, right? Mm-hmm. But it's, does that smell match your smell? And if it does, then it's like, hmm, that person smells nice. And I believe that if it doesn't match your smell, that's when you're like, oh, man, that that dude put on too much cologne. Yeah. But I don't think it's a, a too much cologne issue. I think it's it doesn't match his smell. So it, it, it like separates itself and it becomes a little offensive. This is what I'm convinced of because people have been told a lot that I smell nice. I've never noticed. Never noticed. (laughs) But, you know, you can spray a couple times. You can spray more than a couple times. But if the smell matches your smell, it just kind of enhances your smell. It it blends in nicely is what I'm saying. I mean, do you wear cologne now? No. I've never been a cologne wearer. I just I haven't noticed. I just it's just not that's just not me. I don't know. It's just, just weird to me to. I don't know. I've never had the the urge or need to, and no one's ever said I smell bad. So no, never thought you were stinky. No. Uh, I think it's just um, I I I do it after a shower. Yeah, toss it on after a shower. So now now here's a question along those lines, right? Um, either, Either uh, either cologne or perfume. Have you ever, even like recently, uh, within we'll say past few years, have you ever like well, mm-hmm. come across a smell that like brought back memories? Like you smell something like and it, um, like you recognized it. Like oh, I remember so and so would wear that perfume or whatever it might, might well, be. Well, real quick, this works for women as well. Mm-hmm. That if a girl walks by you and you're like, oh, man, that's too much perfume on. Yeah. It's probably because it doesn't match her smell. Hmm. And, um, but no, so I, I, there's no, like, um, I, I couldn't tell you what, what the scent was. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you could walk past a, a girl in the grocery store and she might smell like a girl that you dated years ago. Yeah. But I couldn't say, oh, you, you're you wearing Old Spice. <laughs> oh, you're wearing Gucci Rush. Oh, right. you're wearing Calvin Klein 1. Right, right. Calvin Klein 1 was like, I mean, oh. you want to talk about, you smell that, you're instantly in like 1992. Oh, yeah. 93? 90s. That's we'll a good smell, though. 90s, yeah. Again, that's a good, that's a good one. Calvin Klein 1. Uh, a bunch of people wore that. For some people, it made them smell delicious. Other people, it was like, wow, you're wearing a lot of cologne. See what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, and it's because it didn't match their odor. You know what? Their goder. I, I think I think someone needs to test us out. Someone needs... Next, so, time, next time we go out somewhere and someone runs into us, if they are wearing like CK1 or something like that... Yeah. Um, drinks for if that's your go-to, you know. Yeah, drinks for them all night. Yeah, you're paying. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> but that's the thing is if if you if you sprayed something and went and I went, mm, that smells good, and you said that's CK one, yeah. I'd be like, oh yeah. But if some girl came up and was like wearing something, I was like, that smells good. What is it? I don't know. Yeah, CK one, you idiot. Now I can't remember. 1994 was CK one. You know, I mean, yeah, it'd be like night. I go right back to 1995, and I'm like, "You smell good." How yeah, you, how you doing? Was there one? I swear to God, like middle school was the po- most popular one. Was was there one called like a little sexy or something like that? Mm. You remember that one? A little, just a little sexy, not really sexy, a but just a little sexy, just a little sexy. <laughs> here's here's how you know you like your girlfriend is not like. Um, super uh, sexual, right? Yeah. 
Like they they have like they're, some spray. They're coming on coming to school wearing like grandma's perfume. No, no, no. They're like going to Bath and Body Works. They're like oh. they're, at Bath and Body Works. There was like uh, like, and we're talking like nineties, but there was like, you know, just like peach spray and whatever, right? And there were like these little sprays. I don't even know if you'd call them perfume because it it, it sprayed a lot out. I don't. Do you remember these? Yeah, because I think they like sprayed out a lot. Yes, because that was a problem. So per, you know, there would be people that would have too much perfume on, but whatever. But it was Bath and Body Works that was like the huge offender because they would spray it like crazy. Well, and it was like real thick, and but it also I think it didn't last as long. Yeah, like it didn't. Like I mean, if I sprayed, uh, you know, put a little cologne on and then i put my t-shirt on and maybe sprayed one more smell uh spray on the t-shirt on the front Mm -hmm. it was going to smell all day yeah you could get home take your shirt off leave it on the ground for a couple hours come back smell your shirt and be like yep you can still smell the clone the the bath and body work spray you could spray a couple times like the peach or whatever um you know and and it would just kind of be like a freshen freshen you up spray for the girls (laughs) yeah and and I remember like also like the lotions being like a big thing for the girls. Yeah. <laughs> I would like like they'd have a bottle left. They had those like weird uh like tops to them. You remember what remember those tops? You had to like push down on one side and it would pop up on the other oh, side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they kinda look like ninja turtle heads. <laughs> um but like there would be girls that had like ten lotion bottles but some of them would be like you know pretty empty and you'd be like and they just got tired of it yeah oh this this blueberry mountain spray yeah or this blueberry mountain lotion you don't you don't like that i only wear eh, it's all right i only like the pear berry yeah that's what it would be it would be like i was into the blueberry mountain but now i'm into the pear berry <laughs> And that's like my new thing, or like, oh, my my new jam is, uh, you know, uh, strawberry mixed sunshine. Get, you know? get that country apple out of this place. <laughs> Fuck that. And then, so I, because I was a poor kid, I would be like, well, can I have, can I have, can I have the lotion? <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, yeah, you can have it. My my, and, uh, my elbow's a little ashy. I don't want to give the girl's name away, but uh, her name was Lindsay. She was in your grade. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you already know. Go ahead. She she dated Justin mm-hmm. for a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it starts with an M. Yep. I know. Okay, right? Yep. Was she a flag? Yes. He was just a flag. He was. I think it was like between like my sophomore year, junior year. Or in that time period, like in my junior year, she like liked my best friend. So she decided since he was busy all the time, she was going to hang out with me. Okay. Mm hmm. And she had um, my hands. I always have, I've had issues with my hands because they're like big fat sausages. And um, so she like put on like, Peach lotion. Yeah. Like she was putting on peach lotion. Like that was her thing. Peach lotion. I think it was because she's a redhead. I know that sounds so stupid. <laughs> I'm like, w- why? Redhead? So she's going to use peach? Well, she had like a unique red hair. Yes. Like real dark. Like right? uh, Auburn-y red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, like, back before, like, women dyed their hair that color. Yeah. Com- completely you know natural. I mean? Yeah. Like, supernatural. She was, like, a really interesting friend of mine. Because, one, never been friends with a girl before. Just, like, randomly showing up to my house without being invited. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I, I'd be on the phone to one of our friends, like, Goldie, like, hey, man, what are you doing? Yeah, I want to drink a couple beers and hang out on your barn tonight. Uh, hold on, man. Lindsay's coming to pick me up. <laughs> I gotta go. I hang up the phone and and jump off into her car, and she 
throw lotion on me and be like, but anyways, I got, <laughs> she ended up buying, getting me, um, they had like a two buy one, get one free special. And, and, and so, oh, so much of my junior year, I wore uh peach lotion, but I loved it. That stuff lasts like the lotion, whatever the smell just lasted forever. Forever. I mean, like, I mean you could take a shower. Yeah. And get out of the shower and, and you, like you use like Irish spring soap. Like you weren't fucking around. <laughs> you were trying to get like your oh, dude man. smell on. I would get out no. and your hands would still smell <laughs> like, like peach. peach. Irish spring has nothing on the bath and body works peach lotion. <laughs> oh see, that's why that's why kids back in the nineties, even even today, whatever. Never resort to using Bath and Body Works lotion for private time, all right? Because that's the obvious way to let people know what you're doing. <laughs> like, why do, you, why did your, why do your private parts <laughs> smell like peach? <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh no! I don't, what? No, they oh, don't. No, no, they don't. That's uh, that's you. I never understood the dude jerking off w- with the tissues. Never understood it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. it's in movies, like all the time. Yeah. Oh, mom comes into the kid's room. <clears throat> oh my god, my kid's room is so dirty. Look at all the tissues <clears throat> they're using from jerking off. Yeah. Like I never, I never understood the point. So you're you're laying in your bed, pulling your dick. Uh, uh, it. Your pur- purple-headed yogurt slinger explodes, and then you take tissues and yeah. you clean it up, and then you just take the tissues and you just leave them on your bed. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh, okay, well, uh, oh, I can't put them on my bed anymore because I got too many tissues there. So now I'm going to put my tissues. I'm going to throw them on the floor. I'm going to throw them in my nightstand or whatever. So you have these tissues that are full of young, young jizz, <laughs> right? Yes. Tell me that's a thing. That can't be a thing. No. If my dad would have saw one tissue filled with jizz, he would have killed me. Get the fuck out of here. He would have took me out to the, 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 a field somewhere, and he would have shot me dead. Ugh. And on my tombstone, he would have said, my son of a bitch son smelled like Peach, his dick smells like <laughs> peach. Why does he smell like peach? Okay. Why does he? That's why he smells like peach. Okay. So, um, so what's more, what's worse then, the tissues, or the the movie cliche of like the dirty, like stiff sock? Yeah, the stiff sock, which I think, if I'm, I could be wrong, but I think that's also. Like that was in a that '70s show ish. Yeah, uh, episode. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. Where it was like, uh, you use sock joke. It was like, what? Yeah, yeah. I never got that too. Like, uh, so you uh, took your sweaty sock, or is it not a used sock? Because my thought is, if I was going to clean up, if I was going to clean up me cock, right? If I was going to clean up me cock with anything, I would would I wouldn't take a clean sock yeah you'd take like oh well i took my socks off unless i guess you left your socks on and that that makes it more weird do you you know why did do you do your thing yeah and then like oh be like well i kept my socks on so i gotta take one of them off and then next thing you know they're like why did your junk smell like peach and dirty feet you know what's so funny side note <laughs> side note is <laughs> I made a joke on the show. Um, it might have been last week. I'm not for sure. But it was during a commercial where I said something like, uh, my mom only loves me when I give her the free samples for the sponsors. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. And I remember saying that like on the show, recording it, and thinking, my mom doesn't listen to the show. So I won't have to explain that joke. And if she did listen to the show, she knows my sense of humor. Yeah. 
So she she knows it's a joke. And my mom came over last week and she said, so I was listening to your show. <laughs> I went, really? And I haven't told her about this show. Yeah. Don't. And now after this conversation, I'm not going to. Yeah. Yeah. But here's what I one thing I can tell you. My parents didn't find a bunch of tissues laying around <laughs> all crusty and crumbly. <laughs> Let me just tell you that much. You kept it clean. How you doing? <laughs> hey. How you doing, Captain? I'm just going to get a buzz every week. And, okay, but my point was to talk about sense. <laughs> and then get and then get to the idea of what the sexiest smell is today. Oh. Today. Well, but 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 back to Lindsay, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> With the peach lotion. Yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I wore peach lotion like it just became a thing. I like get out of the shower. I take a little peach lotion, mm -hmm. rub it on my hands, make my hands smell pretty good. Yeah. At some point, it, it it like it got more potent as it got older, so I had to stop. I had to stop doing the peach lotion. But uh, she ended up dating our friend. But there was like something weird. Like some of our friends like threatened her. What? Like. Okay, I don't know the full story. My dad was a detective, and he, I think he investigated the case. Okay. It was like some guys that we knew, or suspected guys that we knew, called her and, like, threatened her. And then, like, maybe they, like, slashed her tire <laughs> or something like that. Did you ever hear about this? No, I don't remember this. Which, I'm going to get to the bottom of this story, and we'll, we'll bring it back on, on another show. But This is true crime. This is our true crime for yeah, the Yeah, so here's this girl. Well, I mean, here's a good lesson, though. Like, yeah. So Lindsay, Lindsay M., that's what we'll call her. Like, She was hanging out with me, a grade older, mm -hmm. wasn't really my type. Uh, I thought she was funny. Funny. Uh, I thought nice, she was cute. Nice girl. Cute. Very, very nice. Yeah. Once you got to know her. She was very, very nice. Yeah, she was definitely a bitch to a lot of people. Uh, let's say she, she was on the more popular side. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was. I think she maybe maybe dated some... Football players. You know, loser football players. And I'm, and I'm not saying that all football players are losers. I was friends with a lot of football Just players. Just the ones that she dated. The, but there's some loser football players, the guys that aren't that good. But they they they're so excited to be on the team because they get to hang out and act like they're the fucking tough guys. But at the same time, you're like, you don't even start, you son of a bitch. Like you should be lucky I didn't try out for the team because I would have took your spot at least. Warming that bench. <laughs> don't put me in the game, coach. I'll get you. her 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 boyfriend at uh, at a party that me and Nick's band played. Um, we played at uh, Todd S's house. Yeah. Were you there? Uh, you might you might not have been. I don't at, no, you weren't at our school yet. Okay, so this, Yeah. Okay. So so Dave M. Yes. <laughs> we just got Dave M and Todd <laughs> yeah. S. And S. They had a band. Yep. And they had this really cool song. I think their the song that I liked the most was called Nova Kane, I think it was the name of it. The song, but anyways, we played in in Todd's basement, and I think there was a time where Lindsey M's boyfriend was there, okay. and he was like, he was either like sitting on the couch acting like he was mad, or he was like actually like falling asleep. Okay, <laughs> and Nick like threw the mic stand at him or something <laughs> crazy, and then like then the guy got all shitty and like like almost a fight broke out because Nick <laughs> Nick used to be a rebel. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like sitting in the background, like, ha, 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 what's going on, guys? <laughs> See, that's that's what's great. People think you're the crazy one, but they yeah. don't know Nick. I'm not. It's Nick. I'm not. No, no, no. The, the thing is, is he used to be the crazy. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. I mean, he is. Look, the, here's the truth. He is still nuts. He was telling me, I, you know, where where he lives now. It doesn't have a bunch of land, but where he lives now is 
he they had a like go kart or or like a golf cart type thing, like a utility like vehicle to like drive around the yeah, yeah. property to pick up sticks and whatever. It doesn't go that <laughs> fast. Yeah. But like I can't remember if it was him or his friend, but he has a friend that uh moved moved to Cincinnati and and comes back every now and then. But he like moved away like before high school, right? Mm-hmm. Uh and and so when his friend comes up, like Nick turns into old Nick. And like Nick will show up to like record the show like on the Monday, and I know, oh, your buddy came to town because you look like shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. And so one uh one Monday he shows up, so we start recording the show and he just looks awful. And he was telling me that he was like jumping the 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 golf cart. <laughs> he was like <laughs> like setting up little ramps to jump the golf cart and like driving down the road. <laughs> Uh, with a golf cart and then like his friend fell off or maybe he like ran his friend over or something he had like real bad like road rash (laughs) (laughs) it's like and like those moments i'm like that that is the old old nick and then there's other moments that were like doing ads for the show and i just think who are you (laughs) like who the hell are you (laughs) who the hell do you think you are so it's kind of weird to know somebody that long growing up. I mean, it's and it's just like me and you, and and me and you are a little different than most people because it was like late high school. Yeah, yeah. So it's like just think of uh, think about the amount of stories we'd have if we started in sixth oh, grade. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Everybody's like, no, that sounds awful. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to this. I thought about that this week. Like, man, we talk about some weird shit. I know. We're always going back into 1990. Then I thought, who gives a fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> it's the nostalgia, man. It's There's something about 1990. Well, to us, and I think people over in our generation, that I think a lot of people, they, you know, people can... Uh, you know, people that that were are our age or our generation, they understand. And they're probably sitting here listening, right, goes so, like, "Oh, I remember wearing Bath and Body Works peach." Yeah, no, yeah, I used to wear it all the time. Oh man, or like there's some dude going like, "Yeah, I used to touch my dick <laughs> with Bath and Body Works, with and then mouth, I would clean up using mountain. clean up using tissues, and I would just throw them on the floor." Yeah, my parents will never know. <laughs> No, when you pick up my crusty like, sock, what is you'll it? never know. What is this? Oh, I had a cold. I just blew my nose in there. I just blew my nose into the sock. <laughs> That's what everyone's doing these days. Uh, no, so, yeah, so at some point, uh, I guess, the there was this threatening calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if they were, like, like disguising their voice. I don't know if they're doing this as a, a prank or not. Or I don't know if this was like actually real and that like then when they got busted, they're like, oh, we're just joking around. Yeah. I don't really remember. But what I do remember, uh, I'll tell you this story. You'll like this. Is Lindsay had a pool. Right. I think Lindsay had a pool. We'll say she had a pool. Mm, Maybe Lindsay didn't have a pool. (laughs) But Lindsay was your with Lindsay at a pool at someone's house. Or it could have been Lindsay's pool. But Holly. H. H. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holly H. had a pool. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe Holly H. didn't have a pool. <laughs> we don't. We have no maybe, idea. <laughs> maybe Lindsay Someone M. didn't have a pool. But one of them had a you pool. Know who, and I just remember. You know who did have a pool? Nick W. had a pool. Nick W. You, your, your grade? No way. Yeah. In Indian Trail. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. No. I, yeah, I went there. And that big ass yeah. house. Yeah. I used to ride by that house. On my, that, that's a house that I'd love to buy one day. Remember how big that house was? Yeah, I do. Like, that's a house. Like, if I could one day be like, yeah, I bought, <laughs> I bought Nick W's house, people would be like, you balling son of a bitch. Why'd you buy it? Because I could. Because Lindsay M and Holly H didn't have pools. Now I do. No, no. Okay. So, so I think Lindsay was like, "Go swimming with me." And again, this is like 
in this weird territory because you're, you know, you like being friends with this girl. And, and there, I think there's a part of you as a man going, well, why am I not attracted to her? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know she's cute, but I'm not attracted to her. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's not getting the yogurt slinger to move. But that's because you're friends. And that's what you kind of start learning over time. But at that time, you know, I didn't understand. You know, I just didn't, didn't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was really confusing. I kept on like thinking, like, why don't I like her? I should like her. Like, but then I was like, but she likes my friend. It was very confusing. But we went swimming and um, they both told me, you would look great with a hat. But that's because I had the world's weirdest haircut. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they meant to say your haircut's so weird that if you put on a hat you look, you look really normal. good but uh, but it was true I, I bought a blue hat and it really made my eyes pop blue and we we're swimming in uh in holly's pool we think and i'm and i'm let me tell you something mean gene i think they might have invited like a couple other girls over and when you're like one dude Swimming on a pool with like three, four girls. Yeah. And they're like all hanging on you. I think at one point, like one girl's legs were like wrapped around me and like the other girl's legs were wrapped around me and we're just like walking through the pool. Yeah. I don't know. You remember these girls, right? <laughs> it was like Kevin. <laughs> it was amazing. I think I, I, and I could have probably dated Holly H. Yeah. A after the pool stuff, because now I'm friends with Lindsay and she's friends with Lindsay. Mm -hmm. And but I think it was just because like Holly was so nice, like she was such a nice person. Yeah, that I just like, like I fumbled that one. Yeah, or was like, yeah, those are good. Pools were a good way to get in. Yeah, but can you imagine it now? Like, oh god, same same scenario now. Like two. Two divorced chicks. Hey, <laughs> you want to come swimming? <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, my my stomach has been knots and knots since Tuesday. Let me come right over. Yeah. Let me put on my peach lotion. Jumping in the pool with my it up. with my t-shirt on. I got my swimming t-shirt yeah. on. <laughs> let let me touch my knotty parts really <laughs> quick with my peach lotion. It's like, just in case you go down there, Captain. Are you wearing bath and Body worked? Peach? Like, hell yeah. Not only am I wearing peach lotion, but I got CK1 on. Do I smell CK1 and Bath and Body Works peach? Sprayed it right on the bum hole. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I always love those movies where the guy was put in, on cologne and then he pulled his uh, uh, pants over and they sprayed right on the dick. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? He like he's spraying himself with the cologne, and then he like pulls and like sprays it right on the dick. Like, yeah, do you know how bad perfume tastes? Yeah. Awful, dude. Don't spray look, your junk with perfume. Just wash it. it tastes just awful. Just wash it. Like if you're so just, self conscious that just wash if your you're dick. so self conscious that you have to do a little spray spray down there, you should just take some time and just wash it, and you'll be all right, man. You might want to take a shower. <laughs> Okay, so the point of getting to the spray, <laughs> this was my opening line, <laughs> 35 minutes in. What did you say, 35 minutes in? 55. 55 okay. 55 <laughs> minutes in. <laughs> this is my opening line. The sexiest smell for women today. Do you know what it is? CK1? No, no, you you won't. No, I You no. won't even guess it. I'll give you three guesses. I'll give you $100 if you guess it. it uh, Perfume-wise, right? No, no, just a smell. Oh, man. The sexiest smell. Now, this is what a, from a woman's point of view. From a woman, like this, makes her panties drop. Motor oil. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay, that's one guess. Um, five guys, burgers. Five no, guys I have no idea. I have no idea. It's bleach. Bleach. Yeah, like when you go to clean that bathroom. You better use some bleach, boy. Bleach. And you, you come out of that bathroom and it's smelling a little like bleach, and you go, honey, I just clean the bathrooms. Oh, shit. She might pull your d 
dick out right on the spot, son. I want to start putting bleach all over my body. No, no, <laughs> don't, no, no. No, the point is yeah. clean the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. And the reason why was because before the show, I was like, I, I, I've been trying to really focus on like, here's Sunday. Because mm-hmm. remember back in the day, the 80s. <laughs> the 80s. Yeah. The 90s. Before a lot of the social media, yeah. right? I feel like because of social media, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel because of social media that a lot of days have kind of blended together. Yeah. We don't have such a separation of a weekend to the weekday. Mm-hmm. And there was a big thing about Sundays. And Sundays, about midday, about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, everything would kind of shut off. And people wouldn't book, you know, uh, anything for kids after that time. Yeah. Now kids have soccer games and football games, and it could be Sunday night. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. But back in the day, it was like, you know, nothing's happening. They wouldn't book anything on Sunday, mainly because of church. Yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. yeah. So you play your soccer game on Saturday. Maybe there's church on Sunday. If you don't go or if you do go, you get back at 1. Now it's shutdown time. Kids are getting their showers. Mm-hmm. People are cleaning the house. You're getting ready for the week. And I've been trying to to make my life better. I live by myself, people. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't tell people. It's like, hey, but, how's it going? Hey, Captain. Yeah, how you doing? doing? Um, but the thing is, is that you have the start of your week. Mm-hmm. So there's Sunday night football. We might be talking later. But what I've been doing is, is I wake up do whatever I got to do. Once it's time to start shutting down, I'm cleaning my kitchen. I'm cleaning a couple of the bathrooms. I'm cleaning whatever, you know, doing some laundry, whatever it is and and preparing for the week. Yeah. Making sure that come Monday morning, the house was pretty clean. We know. So we're starting off on an organized foot. And, uh, I was, so I was cleaning the the bathroom downstairs and using a a little bleach spray. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and so when you when you smell <laughs> the bathroom, it's super clean smelling. And I just thought, oh, yeah, that's one sexy smell. <laughs> you come out of the bathroom, the bathroom looking like a 10. 10 out of 10. Here, but here's the key to that, right? You go ask your wife about the smell. But it has to come. You it ha- no, listen, listen, listen. It has to be unprovoked. It can't be wife, whatever, goes and says, hey, go clean the bathroom, and then you're going and cleaning and you're doing bleach, right? Correct. You have to take it, you have to take it on your own to say, I'm going to clean the bathroom today, and I'm going to spray well, the here, bleach, here, here. and I'm going to come out smelling a little bit like bleach, and she's going to go, do Ooh, I, time to make another kid. I smell a clean bathroom? Mm. Oh, shit. Might as well be some peach. <laughs> Might as well be some bath and body mm. warm. Mm, boy. Bath and Body Works peach lotion on your cock. I'm going to rub you down with some Bath and Body Works peach. Mm-mm-mm. I want to take you to Blueberry Mountain. I go into work. I want to <laughs> take you to Holly H's pool and rub you down. You... I, want, I want you to call Lindsay M on the phone and threaten her and slash her tires. Going to work the next day on Monday morning and someone's like, do I smell... Sex? That's a little smells. A little bit of bleach. A little bit of smell, smell. bath and body work. Peach. Ooh wee. Oh, woo! It smells like vagina <laughs> and bleach. <laughs> Someone got some. No, but you're right. It it, ha- it has to not be provoked. But that's why your lazy ass can't go home and just like get on your phone beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, while you're watching TV. Mm-hmm. You got to go. Hey, I'm going to turn on this audio book. Yeah. I'm going to listen to a podcast. I'm going to do something and listen to a podcast. Maybe it takes you an hour. You can clean every bathroom in your house in an hour. Yeah. Do that. You know what? That's my advice for all the men listening to the and, show. And this you week. know what? Be quite honest. A lot of times, this stuff is so easy to do. It's so simple, right? You're, it's not costing a whole lot of money. It's, it might cost you a little bit of time. But yeah, it's if you're not so, addicted to your cell phone like you are. It's only... How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Only when I'm with you, I'm going to get to it. No, but I'm, but you know, it's like, it's. <laughs> it's because I'm so boring like, oh, that you're like, back this guy. 
it's like, okay, here's Captain. He's like, tell me a story so I can go on my phone for like at least like a fuck, half, yeah. at least a half an hour, and then I can like jump in. No, but it, but no, it's so simple, people. Just take the, take some time, do something nice. I think you know what? Not just the guys. I think everyone this week just should do one, at least one thing, nice and unsus- unexpected. For your significant other, at least one thing. This is where you're. This is where you're a dumb man. Why? That's what women do all the time. Bullshit. No, I'm kidding. I love they you. They do women. nice shit all the time for us. You think? And they do. They do. We because well, we're dumb. Men are dumb, yeah. and we're just. We're and it's simple things too, right? That's, That's the thing. It's like. It could be something so nice, but it's so simple. You you don't take time to even think about it. You just, it's, things are things are done, and you just kind of overlook them because we're dumb. Yeah, I, one of the things I love to do, like on a Sunday night, um, is let let's say like every everything's winding down, yeah. but you want to get out of the house for a second. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're listening to your show. You just say, "I'll be back." Don't even say where you're going. Take their car, fill it up with gas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Drive it back, maybe get it washed, whatever. What a great feeling. They start off the week mm-hmm. with a washed car, maybe cleaned it out for them. Don't worry about getting gas. It's filled with gas. Yeah. yeah. Genius. And this is like the shit you can bring up, yeah. you know. If your cock is smelling too much like <laughs> peach lotion from Bath and Body Works because you've been touching yeah. yourself so much. Why do you smell like peach? Well, you, well, I got you gas and clean, wash your car. I, I do all this stuff for you, and you do nothing for me. Nothing! You do nothing for me! <laughs> I'm just going to start like, yelling every episode. You do nothing. I work hard. I put CK1 all <laughs> over my body. I bathe in it. I put CK1. All over. My I wear body. it because 1995 was the greatest year of my life. Yeah, I know. I, th- I need to. I need to write a book called the 90s, <laughs> but it's just about my experience. <laughs> so they'll get it. Like they'll know everything I'm fucking talking about, though. Chapter five. No. Lindsay M. Chapter five. Lindsay M. Gets threatened and the tires get slashed. I'm telling you, I'm going. To, I'm going to figure out what that story is. Why don't we? We should find Lindsay M and just have her come on and tell us a story. <laughs> that everyone's going to want to That's know funny. now. Well, I'm going. No, I'm going to find out. I'll find out what the story was. If, I, you if, know, if my father can even, remember I can it. find out because my like, in-laws. But, uh, listen, I'm her, my in-laws are uh, like best friends with Lindsay M's parents. Yeah. And they still, I'm pretty sure they still go go out to dinner uh, with them, like, every, you know, a few times a year. So, I'll find out. Because, like, it was a thing, like, and, like, our, I'm telling you, like, she was scared. And I want to say that, like, the friends of ours that were involved were let off the hook. Would I be surprised of who it is? No. 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 Oh, oh. I'll just text it to you. And now I now I get to wait for your. Here we go. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, that I believe that's who was involved, and and I think the rumor was, the rumor I heard was that it, it was because uh, I heard a couple of rumors. I heard one rumor was because he had this big crush on her, so he was obviously pissed. Uh, she don't like me. One of his friends, yeah. right? But then I heard the other thing was that because I think he was dating somebody at the time that maybe she like talked some shit about him, you know, or maybe said that he like came on to her or something. Yeah. You know I mean, like told the girlfriend like, hey, your boyfriend came on to me and he's like, no, I didn't. Yeah. He so, probably did. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's the sad thing, yeah. man. I a uh, uh, quick recommendation and then I'll I'll get off here. I watched that um, a series called Unbelievable. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we've talked about this a little it's bit. Good. Yeah. There's a couple parts where it's like they, it seems like they put some dialogue in there just to be a little preachy, mm-hmm. uh, which I get because I, I think there's this over there's this underlying point that they're trying to make is that 
there's all these crimes. Take like a burglary, bank robbery, carjacking, uh, home invasion. Yeah. Um, somebody stole something from your shed. A bunch of different things. We never question the person that is reporting the crime. We just take the report and then investigate the crime. Yeah. And only in sexual assaults with women do it, does it seem that we, before we take the report and start investigating the crime, do we start questioning the person that is making the, re, the report? Yeah. And how messed up that is. And yes, there are false accusations, mm -hmm. but there are also false crimes that are reported every day. Yeah. Officer. Three bikes are missing from my shed. Then they find out three days later it's it's um, it's their their neighbors or took them by accident. Yeah. Or, or their son took them. But but we don't start off with a conversation of, well, are you sure you're not lying about this? Yeah. And it, that's really messed up. And it's it's funny because when it first started, the, I, I wasn't getting into it, and then. Once I got to like the second episode, I got hooked. By the third episode, I was super hooked. And it was emotional. There was a couple points that made me very sad for some of the situations where where there's a where where there's a girl that not only do they not believe her, but they're making her lie and say and say that she that everything's made up. Yeah. Right. So but but you know, not to go all dark on the show. But it's like you're saying, there's all these things that happen as a young man where you have friends that you know have been creepy towards women. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I guess other than, like, calling them creepy, there's not much that we've ever done about it. Yeah. You know, and that's pretty pathetic. You know? Um, but... But I, but some of those things too, that I think you can chalk up to uh, adolescence. Some of those things you can chalk up to, just like the Lindsay M yeah. story. At some point, I'm telling my best friend that I think I like his girlfriend, <laughs> you know, and he's like, "What?" And he's like, "If you like her, I won't date her." And I was like, "But I don't know if I like." Yeah. Her. He's like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Well, we hang out all the time." <laughs> And then, like, it took him having a bunch of female friends to be like, oh, yeah, dude, you don't like her. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was, like, in high school, and somebody could have been like, well, that's a really dumb situation to be in, right? Mm hmm But I was, I didn't know. I was learning, you know. So sometimes people make advances, and they come off wrong, and it's and it's not, it might be creepy. It might felt creepy to the female. Yeah. But that was just them learning. Yeah. Oh, that's not what you do. I should not do that. Um, but there's other times that I think all men knew that guys were a little strange, and we just kind of let it yeah, happen. Yeah, you, and it's you make you make excuses sad. for them, or you just say, "Oh, that's just their personality," or whatever it might be. Yeah, he just does that with girls. Yeah, he's just a little awkward. And I'm not and look, and I want to be clear, you know. There was there was no friend that I had that I thought was rapey. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was just, eh, he's a little weird with girls here, here and there. But um, and then in this in this show, there's a a scene where a guy is coming forward to say this guy, this is what this guy does with women. But it was rapey, and uh, and obviously we shouldn't stand for that. But I don't even think we should stand for some of the creepy stuff that I that I didn't stand for. I don't think you stood nope. for it. But me and you didn't stand up against it. No, no. Which is a lot easier to say now that we would have. Yeah, you know. But, but anyways, it was a, it's a, it's a good show. You should I'll watch it because I'd like to know your yeah, thoughts definitely. on it. Um, um, let me. But it's it, it's a it's a it's good because one of the things is the 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 mine hunter side or the detectives trying to solve mm. the case side is is super interesting, but the. All the backstory, like I said, there was moments where they like go into these like long rants about society and and what men and women shouldn't be doing, and yeah, and those seem a little 
forced on some level, but I, I thought overall the actors were good and uh and also when there's star act actresses, mm-hmm. um I just tend to call any male or female actor or an actor. Yeah, yeah. Um but when the leads are females, uh it, it, that's nice to see. And if I remember correctly, in the like trailer for it, there was Definitely, at least to me, and I think when we talked about it before it came out, you might have felt the same way that there might be some like uh, Golden State Killer elements to it. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, like like they're using uh, it, it as ba- as um, not as a yeah. template. Yeah, now watching it, I think it's different, but it is it's based off an article that was written, which I uh, which I have not read that article because it doesn't actually state. This is this whole idea is based off an yeah, article. Yeah. Here's the article. It didn't say that, or at least if it did, I, I did not see that. Uh, but it does. It definitely has some of those elements, um, and uh, there's definitely an element of who did it. Yeah, uh, which which is good. That keeps you, and that takes a while to develop. But once they start developing it, you start going. Okay, here's another three hours. I'm gonna sit in yeah. this chair and not clean my bathrooms with bleach because <laughs> I don't really care. Because I don't really care right now. I got to know who yeah. did it. You know? And let's be honest, if you're coming out of the bathroom smelling like bleach, there's no one there to go. Ooh, how you doing? There's always, always me. you. Hey, hey, it smells like bleach in this bitch. Oh, uh, um, no. So, <laughs> so yeah, sorry to bring everybody down, but that. That's our show. Thanks for supporting us. I'm Captain, and with me, as always, is is Morgan. And I also thought that you know, Captain and Morgan were horrible stripper names, <laughs> but um, <laughs> do the best we can. We'll be at Dockside Dolls all weekend, shaking our shit. Or you got a new move called the helicopter and the reverse helicopter. Come check us out. Make sure you tip your bartenders. And until next week. Don't go using your Bath and Body Works peach lotion for self-loving. Thanks for listening to Captain and Morgan. If you like the show and want to know more, check out CaptainandMorgan.com. Please also remember to subscribe to Captain and Morgan on YouTube or catch it live on Discord. You can also follow Captain and Morgan on Instagram at the Captain and Morgan or on Twitter at Cap and Morgan. Ah!